Hi, we're at period two. I'm Ryan Petaway. Hi, I'm Emily Ramirez, and this is our C. Elegant Experiment Video Lab Report. In this experiment, we use the RNAi system to determine the function of a specific gene in the C. elegans worms. We got the worms on the MGM Lite LP50 starter plate and then used the chunking method and sterile procedure to transfer the worms to the IPTG feeder plate with ampicillin and the RNAi bacteria that the worms will feed on. In it contains the double-stranded RNA. When the worms eat the RNAi bacteria, the double-stranded RNA gets in the worm cells, which triggers the RNAi interference system. Once the worms are transferred, we house them in an incubator fridge at 16 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. After that, we took them out to examine them and see a change in the phenotype with the gene that was now turned on. These are the wild-type worms. They are in an S shape and are sort of a transparent color. They slither and swim like a snake and sometimes clump together in pairs or in a large group, usually around a male or chunk of bacteria. There are six developmental stages of the worm. Egg, L1, L2, L3, L4, and adult. These are the worms on the feeder plate that have ingested the RNAi bacteria and are now expressing the gene that we turned on. When observing the now changed worms, we discovered that there was an abundance of what looked to be L1 C. elegans. With further investigation, we noticed that the adults on the plate were all quite fat. After investigating, we discovered that there was not an abundance of L1 worms, but they were actually worms in larval stages L2, L3, and even L4s. The adults looked to be just getting fatter while the worms in the other life stages shrunk or were not elongating as they were growing. Our gene is DPY10, also known as the dumpy gene. It codes for a cuticle collagen protein that affects body morphology and movement, which is the cause for the dumpy appearance in our worms. The results we gathered from this experiment support the function of the protein as our worms took on the shrunken pudgy appearance. The RNAi system is what controls which genes are turned off in a cell. It begins when a double-stranded RNA molecule is present. The double-stranded RNA enters a cell, which is what starts the RNAi pathway. Then, the dicer chops up any dsRNA and cuts it into siRNA, which binds to several other proteins, which form a complex called the RNA-induced silencing complex. The double-stranded siRNA is unzipped, leaving a single-stranded RNA in its wake. The RISC probes the cell for mRNA and matches it. When the RISC binds with mRNA, it chops it up so it can no longer be translated into a protein. Now that the mRNA can't be translated into a protein, the gene has now been silenced. This RNAi pathway that happened inside the C. elegans cells is what gave our worms their dumpy appearance. While this experiment was very interesting to learn about and observe the phenotype of the C. elegans changing and seeing a certain gene turned off, it was rather gross and we weren't the biggest fans of the worms. It was nice to gain insight on the silencing of genes and observe their morphology. See elegancy later!